Hello friends, I am Sudhir Gill and today I am going to show you how to create a volleyball model in Creo Elements or Pro Engineer. First of all, let's create a part. Let's keep it its department. Okay. Now select sketch tool and select front plane. Sketch. Now select circle and make a circle of diameter around 20.69 mm make a line trim down these entities and revolve it now again select sketch tool select on front plane hold right click and select references select these edges select line tool and make a line to the origin select dimension tool select both lines delete the constraint and make an angle of about 109.471220 select line to vertical make it construction construction and this now again select line tool and make a vertical line and select coincident select this line and this point. Now we just have to create these and select extrude to hold right click at this point and select symmetric. Make it a thicker so it cuts down the whole sphere. Three. Select remove material and click OK. Now go to sketch tool and select this face. Select references of B. Okay, now select rectangle tool and make a rectangle select constraints and select equal constraint select these two lines now make these construction lines select rectangle tool Maybe I should use a geometric line first. Select rectangle tool, make a rectangle here, make a rectangle here. Now again extrude, remove material. So basically, we have created uh, a part of the volleyball we will be designing. Now let's save it now create in a, a new assembly insert this part let's make it it's made from plane to plane uh, front plane with assembly front plane top plane with assembly top plane right plane with assembly right plane Let's switch to PRT. Let's hide these. Back to assembly. Let's go to tree filters and enable these. Now select this component. Click on pattern. Maybe I should have done that in part five.
select all these features. Select this feature. It will be better in assembly. Insert a part again. Select in this face and this face. Um, make an oriented and flip the surfaces. Now a new constraint. Select this face and this face. A new constraint with this face and this face. Now it is fully constrained and going like this. Now let's insert in this part again. Now we will have a link between this part, this face, and this face. Make a oriented link between this face and this face oriented and this face and this face. Select this component, make a pattern, that axis, this axis, Let's insert this part again. This face with this face. Make it ori oriented. This face with this face. Again oriented. And this face with this face. Okay. Now select this component. Select pattern tool, axis, like this, two components, full span, ok. Now view display setting, model display, edge, very high smooth lines with edges. So I have enabled the edges, that switch to part, file and make a sketch on this face. Select these. Edges as references. Select line tool. We make three lines. Select equal constraint. We make these lines equal. Now convert them to construction geometry. Select geometric line. Select rectangle tool. Constraint. No. This distance about point one m. Point one m is too large. No. Also, so maybe I should do it here too. And here to go to the pattern. Let's add this sketch, extrude, reverse direction, remove material. Okay. Let's go to assembly and you can see the volleyball body created. Uh, there are few tweaks you would like to do, like creating fillets around the edges you can add as many features as you want make a name on it or anything uh, let's hide these and let's switch to part view visibility save status so basically whatever features are hidden here like planes and coordinate system they will be hidden next time we open this part let's switch to Let's save it first. Let's switch to assembly. Let's save status again. Let's hide these. Let's save it. So, thanks for watching my video tutorial and have a nice day.